Hello there, it's uh, Scott from uh, Edge Math, and I uh, was asked a question about what is uh, about time and a half, uh, what that means, and how to calculate it. So uh, maybe it's best if we work through a problem about time and a half pay. Um, so if uh, so if a Seattle restaurant worker makes fifteen dollars an hour and works fifty five hours in one week, so because it's the holidays. Then, if he has paid time and a half for the overtime hours, how much will he make, or how much does he make? So he's working 55 hours in one week, so we've got the 55 hours. Let's figure out how many hours he's making at the regular pay or the overtime pay. Now I checked the Seattle or the Washington State the labor office and it's law in Washington, I guess everywhere that if they work uh, so if you work 40 hours in one week, that's at the regular pay, 40 hours at regular, and then the rest would be overtime, 15 hours overtime, and let's figure out, let's, so he's working 40 hours at $15 an hour, so he makes Ten dollars an hour during the regular time, and then here's where time and a half comes in. So he's going to make fifteen times or time and a half, or or that's like times. That's essentially times fifteen times one and a half. out to do on the calculator 10 times 1.5 so 22.50 per hour is the overtime rate so we're going to take each of these so we're going to look at the regular time period he's making $15 an hour during that time so he makes 40 times 15 use the star for 15 and that's, let's pop it in the calculator, uh, 600, so he makes $600 during the regular period, and in the overtime period, he is from 15, and we multiply that by 22.50 to find how much he's, how much he's making, and then here, let's pop that in the calculator, uh, 15 times Twenty two point five comes out to three thirty seven fifty. He's working because he's working at twenty two fifty an hour. He makes quite a bit during that fifteen hours of overtime. So in total he makes six hundred of the regular regular wage and then 337.50 at the overtime and that combines to get 937.50 then you can probably see actually this overtime this overtime is a substantial portion of the of the overall pay it's over a third of it but he that working time is just a small a small amount of working time, so so it gives the he's going to need a, bit, a much bigger pay during that time period. So so that's how we calculate uh, time and a half. Um, let me know if you have any questions about that. And this is uh, Scott from Edge Math. Uh, have a great day.